Ladies and gentlemen, welcome one and all to uh, Project Warlock, that's it. Yes, yes, Project Warlock, once again. When we last left off, we, um, well, we beat the, uh, we beat the, industri the um, industrial levels, and now we're going to hell. I mean, there's only one place this uh, sort of game you really end up, isn't there? And that is hell. Uh, so we need two more upgrade points so we can get ourselves either railgun, rapid fire, laser gun, supersonic rockets, napalm rockets, heavy bolts, or the auto turret. Yeah. Or I could just, you know, get a get one of these, but there's no point. Ha! Ah. I'd rather just go guns blazing, because why not? Get psyched. Four castles, smash the gates. That's right, we're playing through a combination of all of the uh, old levels, should I say? Soul Eater. Isn't, isn't that an anime, Soul Eater? I, I don't know. My, myself and anime, we, we're not too... Uh... Oh yeah, the succubus have rocket launchers now, by the way. Just, just, just because. At least it looks like a rocket launcher. Yeah, that's a rocket launcher. I mean, why do you give a succubus a rocket launcher? I mean, succubi are supposed to be subtle. They're not supposed to be, uh... They're not supposed to be firing rockets in your face. Uh, where is my... Is it the function key I was after? It was the function key I was after, yes. So I need to turn it down a bit. Oh, good, more of you. Ow. Okay, this isn't working. Get out the nail gun. Nail everything. And do more damage to myself in the process. Yeah, I think the uh, the nail gun's ability to go around walls is a little little bit more. Um, it's not quite as worth it as I. Uh, Originally, originally thought. Considering how often I managed to uh, shoot myself, I don't know. I mean, I imagine that bloody rude, tape worms. Lovely. Uh, well, this isn't going to girls' monsters to spawn or anything, is it? No, oh, I didn't. Okay. Oh no, it's just. Just rocket spewing, succubi, as you do. Uh, oh, hello. They're sort of blending into the background. It's very red, this place. I mean, it's hell, what do you expect? I mean, it's not exactly going to be all blue, is it? At least it's hell in the sense of the, uh, the standard definition of hell, should I say. For what most people know hell to be, it's very, uh, very red. Full of skulls and dead things and corpses everywhere. But, uh, yes, it's, uh, huh. and eyes on the walls. That's, um, that's interesting. That's a lot of zombies. I just had a sudden panic there, but I, uh, I was not recording. But, uh, yes, I am. I'm definitely recording. The button press did work. Oh dear God, what is that? Abomination. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Ow. I didn't actually do that much damage. There we go. Oh. Right. Okay. Let's go have a look for some secrets because I have a no doubt missed at least six. Oh, hello. Nope, nothing there, nothing there, there uh, nothing going to be there. No, okay, alright. There's one, there's two. Oh, that takes me to right to the exit. Oh, okay. Nothing there. I'm on 27 lives, as, as you do. So, technically, I could have activated that from this angle. 
But can I activate any other secrets, I wonder? Does the eye room have a secret? The eye room does not have a secret. I mean, that, I thought that would be a good place for a secret, but uh, no matter. Oh well, that's the first level. I think I'm pretty much done here. Unlock point. Ah, and it was just two secrets. Good. The battleground, I think that said. Ow. Oh, I know this map. Yeah, I remember this one. This one's not too bad. Yeah, get it. There we go. It's really a case of just funneling all the enemies. Whoop. That was a bit of an error in judgement. Alright, I should probably kill that abomination before I keep spawning enemies. Because that's kind of what they do. Abominations can go to hell. Oh wait, we're already there. Alright. That's not a secret. There's a thing on the other side. Alright, we can't open that. That we can open. I should have probably gone for the Magnum. I mean, we get to this stage, I mean, this is effective, don't get me wrong, but we get to this stage and I'm kind of like, I just want the Meteor Gun at this point. I can't really hear the music that well. I I've turned it down a bit too much. Let's uh, turn it a bit more. There we go. There we go, secret, lovely. Switches to go three. Switches to what? You mean I had to... I actually had to get the secret to progress. That's a bit mean, game. I mean, I know by this point you're supposed to be like a master of the game, but... Uh, I'm master of nothing. I'm a jack of all trades, master of nothing. And I'm not even... And those trades I'm not even good at either, so, you know. This song is strange, but then I suppose it's kind of suitable for hell. I mean, hell is supposed to be a bit weird. There's eyes everywhere. Why is it always eyes? Right, so. That means that. Ooh, yeah. That's a game just spawn random enemies on me. Well, not on me. Probably not on me, because, you know, that would that would hurt. Oh, hello. Be gone. Right. So, blue key. Over here. More zombies. That's tapeworm. That's not really quite what I was after, but, you know, it'll work. Oh dear god, there's a lot of enemies. Oh, something this with a rocket launcher. Yeah, well, that's one way to deal with a zombie. Rocket its face. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Okay, can you please stop getting in the way so I can kill that abomination? Thank you. And you can take a grenade just because I'm spiteful. There we go. Good. Everyone is dead. Everybody's dead, Dave. Ooh. Okay, that's a bit of a strange room. We'll just ignore that. Uh, yellow key. Nope! Eat grenade! That sadly did not kill everything, like I was hoping it would, but oh well. Alright, so... Jesus. Ah, so I can end the, end the level now. Alright, okay, so... Why does this music sort of... kind of remind me of Madness Combat in a way? I don't know why, but it just does. I mean, the Madness Combat music got, got very uh, weird. 
as the uh, as Nevada sort of crumbled around it. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I like the Madness Combat music. The Madness Combat music is good. I mean, one, my favourite's probably Expedation. Exper, oh, I'm not good with the names. Um, well, number 11. Yeah, number 11's quite good. Um, number 10 is good. In fact, no, they're pretty much all good. Cheshire and the uh, the new uh, I know someone else working on Madness Combat music at the moment, but uh, yeah, they're both uh, extremely good. I think. Oh dear, I'm hiccuping now. It's mm. annoying. I'm not going to be able to find that other those other switches, am I? Done two. There's nothing the idea I'm taking it. No, nothing the idea at all. Huh. I don't know where the secret is. I mean, there's obviously a secret here somewhere because those. Switches wouldn't exist, and that I'm fairly certain is supposed to uh, come down. I'm fairly certain. Ah, there we go. Switches to go one. Right. I was just being blind, basically. That's not got a switch on it. Nor is that. Aha! There we go. Secret's complete. God, oh, it took forever. All right, let's go. I think that's about as much as we're getting from this level. Two or four. Yes. Yeah, Alright, I guess. Alright. And straight into the. Uh, no, we've got upgrade points first, haven't we? Uh, the life, I think. I don't think we're going to get another perk point before we. Uh, oh, no, we might. We might do. We might get one more perk point. Uh, now, I've got ten upgrade points. So the question is, do I go for the rail gun, the rapid fire laser gun, or the auto turret, or the heavy bolter? I'm not too fussed about the rockets, really. Um, fires without delay and deals more damage per shot. I mean, that just sounds better. Although auto turret does sound funny. Um, I'm getting near the end of the game, so I'm going to have to sort of. And then auto turret, I imagine, would allow me to fire another gun while that's firing. I'm not going to get 10 more upgrade points, so I kind of need to make this decision. I'm going to go for the heavy bolter. Because Warhammer 40,000. I know that's the slightly more boring option, but uh, hellish Antarctica. Yeah, so not only do we now have to deal with Antarctica, we have to deal with Antarctica with a massive red tinge all over it. This is basically what happened whenever I tried to use the fog effects in Warcraft 3 on a map. At least before I learned how to map properly. I'll, I say properly? I wouldn't say properly. I was always terrible at mapping in Warcraft 3. Especially especially when my mouse dies. There we go, thank you. Um, yeah, I was always kind of awful, especially with the training. Training and doodads and all that sort of stuff. Oh, I was so awful. I was just so awful. Oh, hello. There's actually a trail for me to follow. A trail of blood. Well, that's creepy. It's not Halloween yet, game. Looker. Uh, no, that is not a looker. I can assure you that is most definitely not a looker. That's an evil eye that fires bolts of what look like plasma or something at me. 
Right, well, I know these are going to open up when I, uh, when I do this, so let's get my shotgun of fire and righteousness out, and use that. There we go. Oh, the, uh, he, he survived. Thingy. Oh, yeah. Uh, I forget, they sometimes go into their weird form. Alright. It's basically Resident Evil 4. Um, I mean, they could not have not been a secret, really. When you think about it. Um... Yeah, this place definitely has more of a creep factor to it than uh, the uh, the previous. I mean, that was kind of an obvious secret as well, to be honest. Um, yeah, this place definitely has more of a creep factor to it than the, uh, the castle. Hmm. I was meant to come in here. But why? That's why! Oh, hello. Sorry, I don't believe I actually uh, allow you to live. Alright. Oh, some snow spiders and some bats. Some eye bats. Where do I know eye bats from? I know them from something else, and I can't think what. I'll tell you what it was. I think it was Adventure Quest. Yeah, in fact, I think it. I think it was Adventure Quest. That I'm thinking of. It's been ages since I played Adventure Quest. Is that still going? Is Adventure Quest still a thing? And like Arctic Entertainment and all that stuff. That looks like that opens. That does though. There we go. Alright. That's the red door explored. Or maybe not red door, I don't know. It could just be red tinged. Who knows? Uh, nope. No, we are not having rockets in the face, thank you. The face does not need rockets to be. Ow! Complete! Ow! Oh god, I'm in a trapped. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. I'm not trapped. I'm kind of trapped. I'm not really. I'm just walking into walls. Uh, Alright, well, let's go find some health. Because I've just lost all of it. That's a lot of health I'm just finding randomly lying around. I'm not complaining, mind you, but, uh, yeah, that's definitely, uh... God, that hurt. Well, I got to 130. 140. 50. 60. And any more? No, don't look it. That is an incredibly obsolete door. What is the point of that? I don't know. Hide things, or anything? If I no, nothing extra. If I go in that way, I mean that's obviously going to do something. But what's it going to do? That looks like it should open. But it doesn't. That opens. No. No. Oh god, no. Where's the other one? Uh, maybe my shotgun thing rebounded and hit it. Hmm. And suddenly evil everywhere! No! No! You cannot use rockets. That's not fair. That is really not fair. I think the most damaging thing in this game is rockets. <coughs> At least enemies with rockets, anyway. So you stop spawning. Stop spawning enemies. I guess it is free XP, unless they count as... Do they count as spawned minions and therefore don't 
give XP. I don't know. Alright. Okay, well, on the plus side, that gave us a boatload of ammo. Or at least a boatload of ammo back, considering how much of it we spent just getting through that section. And uh, that gave us a lot of health as well, so uh, even better. Alright, where do we go now? Good question. Hmm. So yeah, we're just basically going back through all the worlds. I think I've said that already. But we're going back through all the corrupted versions of the worlds. And each and every one of them is evil and wants to kill us. Because, you know, that's kind of the, the whole premise of the game. Hold on a minute. So you can see them from that side, but you can't see them from that side. That makes no sense. How how does how does that even work? I'm guessing they're just textured on this side and not textured on that side, but that Oh, I don't know. I'm going now. I'm trying to go Dagon post. I had Dagon! I had Cthulhu! You couldn't get more on the nose if you tried. Alright. Okay, I forgot those thingies have a ranged attack, like a sunken colony, or spine crawler. Is it, is it, which, which one was which? I can't remember. I think it was spine crawler in um, two, wasn't it? Starcraft two. That was sunken colony in Starcraft one. Ah. Uh. I don't know. Oh. Oh yeah, they're not, they're immune to fire, aren't they? Because you know they're flamers. That's kind of their job. All right. Well, get out the heavy bolter. And suddenly everything's dead. When you absolutely want every single fucking thing dead in the room, you use the heavy bolter. There we go. Point proven. Alright. Let's go. Um, oh. Oh, good. Teleports. This has always gone well. This can't possibly go wrong. No, 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 it's fine. He has no idle frames. Either that or it's frozen. Neither would surprise me on this map. No, it literally has no idle frames. Interesting. I wonder if that's intentional. That seems a bit of a weird design choice to have, uh, have a creature with no idle frames. I mean, I don't know. Uh, well, this doesn't look suspicious or anything, does it? This isn't going to uh, summon... Oh, look! A Hell Knight. I uh, do not believe we have encountered those yet. It didn't seem that dangerous, though. This is where it starts firing a freaking multiple fire rocket launcher right at me. Like the one in Forsaken. I don't know why I put so much stress on the, uh, on the word there, but... Oh, look! They fire rockets! What is it with hell and rockets? Why does hell rely so much on rockets? You'd think it would rely on hell magic, but no, it seems to be uh, they've just equipped all their soldiers with rocket launchers. I don't know. Oh, another tape worm. Oh, another tape worm. Oh, I'm getting trapped in somewhere. I, I don't know. I seem, I seem to be getting blocked by something, but I'm not quite sure what. Alright. Take all that. Uh, I got the red key, I got the yellow key, I got the blue key. Let's scram before we get mauled by something rather unpleasant. Like Hell Knights. The fire rockets. They're basically revenants from Doom. That's that's the way I see it. Except 
I don't know if they're rockets home. They might home. Do they home? I don't know. I mean, it's at this point in the game I really don't know what I'm doing. In terms of, like, I don't know the enemy types. I don't know where I'm going for the most part. I'm just sort of winging it. I mean, it looks like I know where I'm going, but I honestly do not. Yeah, oh, these shamblers are annoying. I don't know which I prefer, the sh these shamblers or the shamblers from Quake. The shamblers from Quake had a freaking hit scan attack, so that's even probably worse, actually. Alright, it looks like that's the end of the mission. I got no secrets, but, uh, oh well. That was only two missions as well. So, what's the next one? Hellish Egypt and the Shores of Hell are th uh, three stages long. Interesting. So, I guess the next episode is going to be a super long one because we are going to be finishing off Project Warlock. Do be sure to let me know what to do with the, uh, the final perk point. I mean... I say that, but I'm probably going to go end up going for Shotgun Expert, because that seems like the most useful at the moment. Uh, life. Or Ghost. Actually, Ghost sounds more useful at this point. I've got that ammo creation spell, so yeah, I might as well just use that instead. Uh, nothing I can upgrade at this point. I've not got enough uh, points. Unlock points. So yeah, we're just going to have to... Uh, Call it a day on the upgrades. But when we come back, we are going to be playing the final levels of the game Hellish Egypt, the Shores of Hell, and the Lord of Hell itself. But until then, I have been Kalaris. Goodbye. <laughs>